Hello, we are now in the Omani cowboy town called Al Raimi. Yes, Omani cowboy. We are making the bread. Because there's no shop, no supermarket, no nothing. No. We've been traveling for a few weeks through the desert. Where we start? Where we start? Yes. So now we are making bread to feed the family and the camels and the stray cats. No, we don't have street. Stray cats. I I I I heard we have uh, street cats. Stray cats. Stray cats. Okay. I hope it's gonna be delicious. Can you explain the process? We have, we have to make uh, like this one. Okay. After that, we throw it on the fire. So first we use flour. In Oman they have different levels of flour, and the level depends on how much it has been grinded. Yes. So we mix the flour with water. And salt. And salt, of course. Yes. And then we do what we are doing now. And yeast? No, no. We don't use no. yeast. Or baking powder? Nothing. No. So it will be flatbread. Yes. yes. Why we don't want to use that? Um, the yeast is because it's not healthy. Yes. What? It has a lot of sugar. Yeah. 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 But this one has anything. Yeah. So after what? After like this one, we will uh, throw it on the fire without any. And how long have you been kneading the bread for? I've seen you doing it for a while. Yeah. So it takes a long time to make. All right, I'll continue the video when we put the bread on the fire. Yes, yes. So now we're at a supermarket in Oman and it's huge. What are we getting for the barbecue? Okay. Why are you getting canned tuna when there's fresh tuna over there? the size of the supermarket it's huge huge supermarket isn't it do they have this size in Germany okay yeah Now we have the barbecue going. We've thrown some prawns on the barbie. This is an Australian. And this is where we are. The wadi. There's a small waterfall up there. Lots of ponds and a stream going through it. fire doesn't look quite hot enough to cook yet but the prawns are on already the fire is finally going now all the materials around here are completely dry so it just needed some uh, palm leaves on it So this is the wadi, the waters are very clear and still. Unfortunately a few people have been here before us and left a bit of trash. But apart from that it's very 
natural and beautiful. Only us, the water and the mountains. And here we have a big pool which we'll go swimming in. There's another pool which I saw some fish in. And up ahead, there's a waterfall. Yay! It's very clear and it's quite deep down there. Apparently the level gets much higher than this. So there's not much water at the moment. Up ahead there's a small waterfall. There we go, now I'm going to put the camera down and go for a swim. So this is uh, making the bread on the fire. Yes. Issa's broken up all the bread and put it in a pot. And he's mixed in some onion and some green herbs. The prawns are all done. And we've eaten some of those. And he's cooking some tuna to mix in with the, the bread. And then I assume, like everything else they eat in Oman, they're going to eat it by hand. Is that right? Yes, by hand. Yeah. So. It's a mix of bread, tuna and vegetables, but it's supposed to be fish, but we didn't have time to cook fish as well. It, anything else about the recipe? No, that's it. That's okay. okay, thank you. What kind of sauce did you put in? I know, but I didn't sauce. Chili sauce. Chili sauce and this uh, fat, which is they called ghee in India, but it's just like butter. So we have chili sauce added and ghee, which is like a kind of butter. Okay, so now the food is ready. And the traditional way in Oman is everyone eats with their hands off a large dish. Bon appetit. That's it, that's it. Can you bring the fat? 